YouTube, it's Tiffany. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something completely different. I will be doing an art haul. We're going to start off with uh, art supplies from Jerry's Artorama. Let's see what I got. So far there's a lot of bubble wrap. I'm going to try to remove all the items before I go through them. Okay, just checking to see if I left anything behind. And let's get rid of this box and see what I got. First up is the Silver Brush Limited Stencil Mini. It's kind of cute. There's three different sizes. Next comes the Daniel Smith Oil Paints. This one is the Titanium White, which I got for free because if you buy three, you get one free for the uh, Black Friday special at Jerry's. three colors that I selected are metallic rich gold metallic silver and my favorite Daniel Smith color moon glow I love this color in watercolors so I thought I should try it in the oil and see if I like it as much. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Next comes the RNF pigment sticks. These are huge. I've never worked with these before. These are oil sticks that you can paint directly on canvas instead of having to use brushes. The colors I got are Naples Yellow, Cadmium Green Pale, King's Blue, Turkey Red, Turkey umber greenish and neutral white these are going to be fun to work with let's clear everything uh, out of the way so that I can make room for the next art box haul This one's going to be a big one. This one's from Dick Blix. Using scissors to cut open the tape. This is my Gamblin oil color in the cobalt teal. I love this color. I buy one in pretty much every single uh, range. This is the Van Gogh pocket box in the metallic and interference colors. This was a Black Friday special. It was reduced by half, I think, or more. And um, if you buy that, you get the black watercolor postcards for free. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Next comes the Equal Line brush pens. I got a set of 20 of these, and I believe they are water-based. Um, this was also another 
a Black Friday special and well, I got a really good deal on these. I think they were either $20 or $30 for a set of $20. Next comes the Sennelier Green for Oil Thinner. This is non-solvent based which is safer for you to use uh, for thinning oils. And last comes my favorite which is the set of Gamblin Artist Oil colors um, in a range of I think there's 10 of the 10, 10 colors, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yep. And it also comes with a canvas board which is a pretty good deal I think. Next comes art supplies from Jackson's all the way from the UK. However, it came at the same time as the supplies from the other companies that are from the United States. Funny how quickly um, shipping overseas is. Okay, first up is the Shinhan Pass Gouache. Uh, these are hybrid paints. I've never tried these before and so I'm really excited to try these. Um, these are supposed to be uh, somewhere between gouache and watercolors. So we'll have to wait and see how they behave. The colors I got are Ultramarine Deep, Cerulean Blue Hue, Permanent Violet, Permanent Yellow, Permanent Red, Hooker's Green, and Yellow Ochre. Next comes the Jackson's Handmade Soft Pastels. I believe these were 50% off and so I couldn't pass them up. I believe I bought 15 different colors. Uh, first up is the Lavender Blue, Powder Blue, and Rose Violet. I heard that Jackson's Handmade Soft Pastels are um, pretty good quality for a very inexpensive price. The next set of colors that I got are pure thalo green, pale yellow, and pale lime green. Next comes purple, lavender, and lavender violet blue. Lavender Violet, Violet Pink, and Pure Pink. And the last set contains Pure Lavender, Cobalt Blue, and Smalt Blue. I also got a box of the Taylor and Roni Artist Soft Pastels in the gray selection. I've never tried these before and since they were such a good deal during the Black Friday special that I couldn't pass them up. As you can see they have a nice range of grays which is something that I don't have currently in my collection so this would be a nice addition to my current selection of soft pastels. I love working with soft pastels. They're one of my favorite mediums. Okay, so now that we got the three major art supply store hauls out of the way, let's make room for the next uh, art supply haul. This time it's from Amazon. So these are the art supplies that I got from Amazon. First up is the Kurataki Gansai Tambi Portable 14 Color Set. It comes in a plastic container or plastic palette. Hmm, seems a little bit difficult to open. Oh, silly me, I got it upside down. So it comes with a liner pen and also a water brush. 
Next comes the Royal Talons Placat Vert Gouache, a mixing set of um, two yellows, two reds, two blues, a white and a black. I believe these paints are from Holland. Next comes the Pretty Excellent Watercolors um, or the Mei Lang Watercolors in a set of 36. A lot of people have been raving about these watercolors and since it was a Black Friday special for only $15, I thought I should give it a try too. As you can see, there's a nice range of 36 colors. Comes in a very pretty color metal palette. Opens nicely and has room for mixing. Also a swatch chart. And also a water brush. I think it's a pretty good deal for $15, don't you? Okay, next comes some art supply tools. First up are brayers. Got two sizes, I think like a two and a three inch. They roll really nicely. You can use them for painting. I plan to use them on my canvases. I also got these plastic scraper tools. I plan to use them to scrape the dry oil paints off of my glass palette. I don't want to use the metal scrapers because I don't want any scratches on my expensive glass palette. And it does come with a lot of um, blades. So the scraper is plastic and it looks a lot more safer to use than the razor blade that comes with the metal scrapers. Looks like it comes with two uh, scrapers, which is nice. Okay, so the last thing that I got from Amazon is the Chelsea Classical Studio Oil Painting Cube Sampler. This contains a sample set of all of their solvent-free products, uh, oils and uh, brush cleaners, solvents, mediums, and varnishes. Um, so all of their products are solvent-free and a lot more safer to use than the uh, turpentine and the solvents that are used for cleaning oil. As you can see, they have a bar of soap here to clean your brushes and it smells just like lavender. So there's about an ounce size of each of their products. Um, there's the linseed oil, the walnut oil, the lean medium, and the fat medium, and the lavender spike oil, which I'm excited to use. Um, then there's also the Lavender Damar Varnish and the Lavender Brush Cleaner. Okay, I think we're all done. No, wait, just kidding. I still have one more to show you. This is watercolors that I got from Etsy, and they're handmade watercolors from Meishas. The best things come in small packages. I saved the best for last. So these watercolors are 
granulating watercolors and I believe they are honey based. Um, I've selected six different colors. They look so pretty, don't they? Very luminous. I like the packaging. There's a thank you sticker on the back and each uh, watercolor is individually wrapped. Looks like little pieces of candy. I enjoy this part the most. The colors I purchased are ultramarine purple and it looks like they have the pigment colors on the side as well. Forest green. Serpent green. Ultramarine magenta. Turquoise violet. And mint. Looks like a teal color more than a mint color. It also has some swatch cards, which is nice. They included six for each of the colors I purchased. Also a card that contains the watercolor information. They've also included a generous size of dot cards uh, for sample colors. A shadow green light, deep sea, shadow green dark, dark planet, ultramarine purple, weathered rose, tiger eye, and peach. Okay, so that is all of the art supplies that I purchased for Black Friday. The remaining footage will be of me sampling some of the watercolors and other uh, supplies that I purchased. So if you're interested, um, please continue watching.
Kudos to you for making it to the end of the video. This was by far the longest video that I've made. I hope it was helpful in helping you with ideas for gifting to yourself or your loved one with art supplies. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a super duper tube-tastic day and happy holidays. Bye.